hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to convert legacy to uefi windows 10 without data loss in this video guys i show you guys how to change legacy to uefi in windows computer or laptop let's jump straight into it guys you guys need to note it guys for follow this particular of avoid data loss Please take backup of system before performing any operation because older hardware will not support UEFI BIOS. Before proceeding this video, please check your system support UEFI BIOS mode or not. If not, doesn't try to convert it guys, otherwise it will make your system unusable and you can also refer your motherboard manufacturer website for references and UEFI BIOS only supported by 64 bit processor guys so please make sure about to it let's get into the video guys for that I'm gonna show my system information for that go to search menu and type system information click on open it system information in here you can see bios mode is legacy bro you can see it legacy in my computer let's change to uefi guys let's change it to for that close out of here and check my description for this link guys i will be given in description on it it will automatically start a downloading and you just want to download it guys go to file explorer select downloads and double click on the downloaded paragon partition manager we just download it double click on it you just want to install it guys first click on I accept the software uh, click on next and install it after installing it click on finish now you just need to open the paragon partition manager guys double click on it wait for it it will take some time loading please wait in here you just need to click on your C drive guys so listen caref carefully guys go to file explorer and select this PC in here you just need to find out your windows icon drive guys my windows icon drive is local disk c guys you just need to find it out and after finding it close out of here and select the name it as drive in here you just need to select it the orange color mark is given here you just need to select on left side convert gp to disk to mbr click on it click on convert now and click on convert now i just started recording in my mobile guys click on the restart the computer please confirm restart of your computer option will be after com automatically complete click on it wait for it until it is done guys it will start automatically restart up it will take while to complete it guys after finishing this process don't press any key in our keyboard press any key to continue just need to press any keys I am just opening now guys we just need to check system information we just converted UEFI MBR to GPT we just need to check it for that go to system information click on it and as you can see guys BSOD mode has been changed to UEFI as you can see and that's it for today's video guys give me a like and subscribe thank you